Hello, in this video we will cover centerline tracing. The image on the left is the original. I used the centerline trace feature and was able to create what you see on the right. So I'll go through the steps that I used. I went to the internet and first of all I did a search for flowers. Line art is generally going to give you your best options, so it's just black and white line art and copyright free because we don't want to violate any copyrights. I also used the search tools and I said I wanted larger than 2 megapixels because again the larger the size you have uh, the better quality image you have to work with. I liked this image so I clicked on it and I wanted to go ahead and visit the page to make sure that this actually was something free that I could use and when I clicked on the page it brought me to here and I saw that it's called clipartbest.com and here is the home page of the website where you can search and uh, you can download thousands of clip arts for free as it says down here at the bottom. So a great site to use. So back at this page, I selected this image. I right clicked and went to copy. And on a fresh page, I did a right click again and I pasted. And here's the image. Now I have to have it selected. I go to trace bitmap and I click on quick trace. It'll take a second to process. Then in the object manager, I can click on the original bitmap and I can delete it. I click on my group of 17 objects. I do a control U, which ungroups it. And all of the items in white in the object manager, I want to make those black. And the item that was black, I'm just gonna click on it and delete it. Now I can draw a box around the individual pieces and do a control G on my keyboard and it makes it one group. Now that this is a vector, I can resize it any size I want. Uh, when items are in raster format, it's hard to resize without pixelating or making the image look distorted. You can also do hand drawings. Yes, I drew that. I, I know. I missed my calling. Uh, what happens though when I click on trace bitmap, because it's a very low quality image, you can see that it, that's obviously not what I want. So I'm going to go back, click on the image again. I can go to outline trace and click on high quality image and it's going to show you a before and an after and you can see there's a lot of difference there so you can use this with hand-drawn images line art you find from the internet that is copyright free or scroll saw patterns or other things that your customers bring to you that you can scan on your scanner and then bring in to draw to do the quick trace and that's how to use this wonderful feature in draw for more information or to sign up for your free trial visit laseru.com